Hey guys, so I thought today I would do my lip declutter. As you can see, I have a ton of products here. I also have little organizers of collections, like all of my Maybelline glosses, all of my Sephora lipsticks elsewhere. So we're just gonna start with these miscellaneous ones that I pulled out of my lippy drawer. Um, I can tell you that some of these have been around for several years. Some of them have been around for probably a decade. I'm not gonna lie. So some of them definitely have to go. So let me jump right in and tell you what I am keeping and what I am tossing and why. First off, I have these three glosses from Pixie um, and Chloe Morello. I loved this collab. They all smell like creamsicles and forgive the nails. I had one break and they're definitely in need of a redo, um, but I wanted to film this while I had a half an hour of quiet in my day. So I love these, but they no longer smell like creamsicle and they smell kind of funky. So it's definitely time to go. I still have a lot of product left, but they've just kind of expired. So they are done. As you can see, I have a lot of buxom glosses. These are the shades I'm going to be keeping. They're all relatively neutral. A couple of reds in here. I have like two shimmers back here, but these are the shades I'm gonna be parting with because I never really reach for these metallic-y pinky purple shades, so these are going to be leaving my collection today. The Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink products. While I think it's a nice formula, there is a formula that I prefer more from the drugstore now, which is the CoverGirl one, but these are shades I never ever reached for. It was 70, 85, 95, and then the Maybelline and Puma collab one. So I'm gonna be tossing these. However, I do have a whole bunch of other shades that I do plan to keep that I wear from time to time and two from the Puma collection that are nice neutral shades. So these will be staying in my collection and those few will be hitting the road. I have some Smashbox liquid lipsticks, which is a beautiful formula, but I've had these since we lived in our last house, which has been four years now. So it's definitely time to throw these away. And I love this like mauve and blue shifty shade but I just never wear it so I'm going to be tossing these. Found another Smashbox product. This one is a lipstick that I've had for years and years so it's time to part ways. All right I have a bunch of Maybelline products that I know I've had for over five years for the most part and some of them I'm not sure if you can tell but they've got like little fuzzies on them so clearly it is time to part ways with them because they are moldy. You cannot keep your makeup for an indefinite amount of time. They do go bad. So that's just an example. They also no longer have the same nice sweet smell that they used to when they were fresh. So it is time to say bye to all of these Maybelline lipsticks and their drugstore so I can always replace the shades that I want back in my collection. My collection of Japanese lipsticks I've probably had for two years or so, but to be honest, I rarely ever use them and they are also starting to get like white and a little bit dusty looking, which means it's like the beginning of mold and you don't want to mess with that. So packaging is beautiful, formula is beautiful, but it's time to say goodbye. These CoverGirl Clean Fresh Balms, I just don't think I will ever reach for them. These are newer, so they haven't gone bad. It's just, it's a formula that I don't think I'm going to be reaching for. So it makes sense to just kind of remove it from my collection and give it to someone that would appreciate it. I have all of these little NYX minis from, I think, an advent calendar at least three years ago. They're the liquid suede or they're the butter glosses. And these are shades that I never reach for. So I'm going to toss these. They still smell okay, but I know it's been years. So it's time to part ways. I have two ColourPop lippies. I love these lippies. I have Parker and She Bad, but I purchased them well over four years ago. So it is time to say goodbye. I have a few of the L'Oreal Gold Addiction, which I think was like a limited edition collection. And they are really, really pretty colors. They all have like a hint of gold fleck to them. But this one you can see is also getting that like fuzzy look and I'm not going to mess with that. So sadly, I have to say goodbye to these and I don't think I can find them anymore. They're gorgeous colors, but time to say goodbye. I have a brand new Ofra product. This one was a collab with Kathleen Lights, I believe. Yeah, Havana Nights. And this is just not a shade that appeals to me. So I'm going to be donating this one to Lorac lipsticks. These are from the Beauty and the Beast collab, which was definitely years ago. The shades are gorgeous. The packaging is stunning, but sadly, 
they are getting a little dusty looking so time to say goodbye we have these physicians formula the healthy lip products which were a beautiful formula when they first came out but sadly these all smell like vinegar now when they're open so they are past their prime so time to part ways Next, let's move on to like lip priming products. We've got the Seraphine Botanicals Whimsy Conditioning Lip Polish. I'm not gonna use this. We have the Revlon Kiss Exfoliating Balm. Never use this. The Stila Lush Lip Water Plumping Primer, which I remember liking, but now if I want like a plumper, I just use like a plumping gloss ahead of time. So I'm gonna pass on this. Again, a Pixie Lip Polish. I never use this. And the Ulta Green Tea Glow. I liked this. But like I said, I prefer my plumping glosses now, so I'm gonna pass on this. I have my Sephora Lip Stories collection and one Alme. I am keeping all of these. I love them for swatching, for comparison. And they're just a really nice, affordable formula. Um, some shimmers, some mattes, some sheens. So I'm gonna keep all of these. Moving on to glosses that I am parting ways with. I have I don't even know what this one is. Vintage Jessica Liebeskin. I think this was from like a boxy charm. Never used it. The Olimar glosses. I love this formula and it smelled like pineapple originally, but now it smells rancid. So time to say goodbye. I have a Stila like glitter topper that I don't use. A CoverGirl glitter gloss that I never use. The Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Lip, which I love, but this also smells very funky. So I'm going to pass on that one. Two of the newer Jane Iredell Hyaluronic Lip Glosses, which I love the formula, but I never wear pink and I rarely wear glittery purple, so I'm going to pass on these. A Smashbox and Los Angeles um, Gloss. Loved the formula, but this one's definitely old, so passing on this one. And an LA Splash like Liquid Lipstick Gloss Hybrid that I just never use. A collection of glosses that I am keeping. These are the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. I have the whole line here minus like a couple bronzy shades that just aren't for me. I am going to be keeping all of these. The Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayons. I love this formula as well. It's a bit more comfortable than their matte ink liquid lipsticks. So I really like these, but I never reach for any of these shades. So I'm going to pass on these and keep a few that are in here. So these are all from the Maybelline line and these are the shades that I'm gonna be keeping. Next we have these Ultra HD lipsticks which smell like mango. They smell delicious and they still smell really good. Yep. They're a great formula surprisingly. They still look almost brand new and shiny which I think is amazing for how long I've had these, at least four years. But I am keeping I am keeping a handful of shades that I really adore and I'm just getting rid of these peachy ones that I never wear. I'm parting ways with these e.l.f. matte lip colors. While they are a really nice formula and I use this one a lot, I've had them way too long. You can see they're very, very dusty and fuzzy looking. So time to part ways. Like I said, it's been a while since I've purged my lips. And then we have like lip pencil, lip crayon type of things. This one is like a Kevin Aquan lip product that I'm just not going to wear. It's a berry tone. This one I used to love. This is the Nude Sticks. What is this one called? Magnetic Matte Lip Color in Rose. It's a really beautiful color, but I've had it so long. It's kind of crystally, so passing on this one. This is the Maybelline Ulta Matte Lipstick. Um, it's just a color I'm not going to wear. It's newer, but it's just not a shade I will wear. Jane Iredell Lip Pencil. I'm just not likely to wear these like chubby crayon pencil things. And then I have a lipstick from Makeup Academy, which I don't think even exists anymore. So time to go. Okay, moving on to my Stila Liquid Lip Collection. This was probably one of my first loves as far as lip products went. I loved these and I had so many shades, but it's been years now and you're not supposed to keep them that long. So I'm going to part with these, but they are a beautiful formula absolutely love these. Oh, I have one Milani in here. 
and a Milani. So I'm going to be parting ways with these shades. However, there are a few that I am still planning to keep like this one and this one from Stila. So I'm not getting rid of all of them. And then we have this shade from the CoverGirl Ultimate Outlast Ultimate Liquid Lipsticks. I love this line. I just don't like this shade, but I am keeping all of these, which are all the CoverGirl Ultimate Liquid Lipsticks, which is one of my favorites. All right, guys, let's just whip through these. We've got a liquid lipstick from Ofra, not my shade. Wet n Wild is starting to smell funky, so it's time to part ways with this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So all nice shades, nice formula, but they all are smelling a bit rancid now, like that vinegary smell. A couple from L'Oreal that are just a bit on the old side, so I'm going to toss these. I have one from Kevin Aquan. I feel like their products break down pretty quickly. As you can see, this one's already breaking down, so I'm going to toss this one. We have two of the NYX liquid lipstick products. I am going to pass on these. I've had this one for probably three or four years, and this one even longer, so time to go. We have a little sample Lime Crime product. I'm not a big fan of the brand, so I'm going to pass on that one. My newer one from Rare Beauty, it just wasn't the right shade for me. It's too orangey red. A liquid lipstick from Ofra that I never wear, and it looks like it has already dried out. This one is Verona. A lipstick that I am keeping, this one's from Grande Cosmetics. This one's like Riverbed or something. River Clay. I love this. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but this is probably my preferred formula over the Ofra one. We have a Ciate London Liquid Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Just don't need any more in my collection. And then like an Ulta Beauty shiny liquid lipstick again i don't need these so moving on to lipsticks we have i believe this is an elf seriously satin lipstick which was nice but i don't need it in my collection we have a jelly tint from sephora which i never ever wore so i'll pass on that one let's go through our miscellaneous ones one two three four i have four becca lipsticks becca is no longer in existence so i'm not going to be keeping these Ruby Kiss Matte Lipstick. I've had this for years, gonna pass on that one. We have a couple of Estee Lauder lipsticks that just aren't shades I reach for. It's like a deep blood red shade. This one is called Fame Seeker. And then we have Short Fuse, which is like an orange. Again, I just don't reach for them. So I'm gonna pass on these. However, I am keeping these three shades, which are Culture Clash, Persuasive, and Rebellious Rose all really beautiful rosy neutral shades we have one that i purchased years ago from rimmel just because it reminded me of a lipstick from like the 90s that i used to have as a kid and i'd like smear this like shimmery pink lipstick all over my lips and i thought i looked so cool as like a little kid and it does have that like old lipstick smell i can't explain it but it definitely takes me back um so like, I want to keep this one for sentimental reasons, but I'm never going to wear the shimmery pink lipstick in candy. So I'm going to toss this one. So Nyakashic lipstick, I love this shade, but it, they don't make makeup anymore. So it's definitely years old. So passing on this one, the Kevin Aquan lipstick that I don't reach for anymore. And it's probably a bit old. It's this one. This one's called Blood Roses Noir. It's like a deep brownish shade. I'm just never going to reach for it. Two from Bite Beauty that I loved. These were both like yellowy brown shades which are really hard to find but they're a little fuzzy and i know that they're made from like food grade ingredients which probably go bad a little bit faster so i'm going to pass on porcini and portobello but i do love these shades and then i have a little mini from bite as well that i'm going to pass on and i have a liquid lipstick from bite beauty i didn't realize i had so many bite beauty lipstick products um i never use this we have a lipstick from Believe Beauty, which is the Dollar General lipstick brand. And while it's a nice formula, I never wear these like berry tones. So I'm going to pass on this. A little Tarte Mini that I never reach for. We have a Paracone MD lip balm, which has clearly gone funky. Not sure if you guys can see this. Clearly gone funky. So I haven't had this this long, like six months. So clearly those don't last long. And then we have a little Makeup Forever little lipstick that is a pretty shade. Maybe I'll hold on to this. I don't own much for Makeup Forever, so I'll hold on to this one. It's tiny. Now, as you can see, there are some lipsticks from Smashbox that I am keeping these two, which are their newer ones, Just Barely and Not Today. 
I have this one, which I know is old from a holiday collection, but I love the shade. So I'm also keeping this one. Isn't that beautiful? I have a Clinique lipstick in here that I'm keeping. This one is Bear Pop. It's a beautiful, like, I don't know how to explain it, like a rose shade. Love this one. This is newer as well. I have some It Cosmetics, an Essence one. I've got, of course, I have my Christian Audette and Mel Thompson lipsticks, which I adore. I have a couple of the L'Oreal Glow Shine lipsticks that I'm keeping. Illamasqua, one Japanesque, a couple of Pat McGrath lipsticks I'm definitely keeping. So that brings us to my MAC lipsticks. I have a ton and I've already pared them down quite a bit. These are the few that I'm going to be keeping in my collection and these are the few that I'm going to either be tossing, selling, or trading in for the Back to MAC program where I think you can trade like seven empty containers and they'll give you one lipstick or one eyeshadow. I don't know if they're still doing it. I assume they are. Let me show you the ones I am keeping. We have Mud Wrestler and Lara Lee. This was the one Lara Lee made in collaboration with MAC and I love it. And Mud Wrestler is just a little bit cooler tones. So I am keeping both of these. They're really beautiful shades. Creme de Nude, which is like a classic to lighten things. Pervet is similar to the uh, pinky one that I had from Rimmel, but it's a little bit, a little bit more blue tone in it. I like this for just adding like a little hint of blue purple to any lip color that I am wearing. We have this one, which I think is called like Doe. What's this one called? Driftwood. This is one of their collabs from years ago, but mine is still good. And I love this like warm beige shade. We have the Caitlyn Jenner collab, which is a beautiful, like, rosy brown shade. Love this one. This one was a, I don't know who this collab is, honestly, but I'm keeping this one as well. It's a beautiful, like, bright red. We have Paramount, which is a beautiful, like, warm brown, but still with rosy tones to it. And finally, this one, which is just a whole lot of fun. Will I wear it much? Probably not, but it's a really fun lipstick to have. So those are the ones I'm keeping. Moving on to the ones I am not keeping. We have Forbidden Sunrise, never gonna wear it, and it is getting fuzzy. Gabriel Zamora, this was a beautiful shade, but it's getting a little funky as well. I do like this shade, but oh, should I keep that one? It is a really pretty brown. All right, I'm gonna keep that one too. We have oh, D for Danger, which is a beautiful berry tone, but I rarely wear those. So we'll pass on that one. We have Darlene Clementine, another orange. Preston Ruddy, which is clearly, clearly fuzzy. Can you guys see it? It's really bad. That must have been one of the first ones that I ever got. So toss. We have Naturally Transformed, which is like a... I don't know how to spin it's like a yellow brown shade which i do like but i don't use it much and it makes the teeth look really funky we have O, which is a beautiful frost shade oh this one is so pretty i love this shade maybe i should keep it Ooh. all right i'm gonna hold on to this one this one's also not too old we have whirl which is a nice brown shade but again i've had this for a long time that might be one that i trade them in to get again that is really pretty we have testosterone which is another very very fuzzy one and i don't think these are that old they were part of like a collection i don't know so kind of funky we have faux which is a really pretty rose shade as well i would probably repurchase this one as well that's really pretty and they don't have that same like vanilla scent so it's time to go we have another Caitlyn Jenner collab, which is a bright orange one, which I will never wear. Another one of these that I will never wear. We have Uncontrollable, which is a really pretty, like, almost yellow tone orange, which is really nice, but I'm not going to wear it. Brick La La, which is a really pretty brick tone. I do love this one, but should I keep that one? This one's really pretty, guys. I think I might have to keep this one. This one was a James Cagliardo's um, 2017 collab. So clearly I've had it for a long time and never wear it. 
Disobedient. This is from like their metallic collection, like the metallic purple one. I don't even think I have any of the other metallic ones because I never wore them. Coral Optics, I think, was another shimmery one. Yeah, here's another shimmery one. Really pretty, but I'm just not going to wear it. And we have another James Cagliardos collab one, which is like this soft coral shade, which I never, ever wear. So, trash. So these are the lip products that I am actually keeping. So I was able to pare it down quite a lot. And this is the giant bag of products that I'm going to be donating, trashing, selling, etc. I definitely think I cut my collection down probably by two thirds. I probably got only kept about a third of the products that I had, which I think is really excellent for me and how indecisive I am with getting rid of products. So hope you guys enjoyed this lipstick declutter and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.